Hello everybody, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today, on this fine Sunday afternoon, instead of working on my call jobs, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film a makeup tutorial, because I did my makeup on Friday, and I really liked how it turned out, and like, got a few compliments on it, so I was like, you know what? Why not film how I did it? Oh my gosh, you can see me in the background. Disregard. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, I think we're just gonna... Just gonna get on started get on into it so first things first I'm just gonna kind of prime my whole face so I'm gonna put a little bit of aquaphor on my lips because they are very chapped okay all right next I'm gonna use the NYX tea tree primer I really like the way this stuff smells and it just feels very refreshing to the skin so I'm just gonna Focus this on the middle of my face and work my way out. This really gets like nice and tacky so the foundation will really stick in. All right, next I'm going to take my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray and I'm just gonna use this to kind of lock in my primer. All right, moving on to the foundation. So I'm going for like a very like golden bronzy look. That's kind of the vibe we are going for. So the perfect foundation for that is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. It's super duper good, um, long wearing. I'm in the color 206 Buff Beige. This is definitely a little dark for me because I got it like for spring break last year. So it's definitely when I was very tan, but. We're gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. Probably like, well, I'll probably need a little more. And first what I'm gonna do is take it on my finger and put it on all the parts of my face. I'm gonna need some foundation. Then I'm gonna take just any foundation brush and start buffing that in. And then afterwards, I'll go over my, with it with my beauty blender. So as you can see, this is a little dark, but not too bad. We are going for the bronzed tan look. <music> Techniques Beauty Sponge, and I'm just gonna pat that into the skin to make sure there's no harsh. <music> it's odd. Okay, next I'm going to take this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the shade 20 Sand. And this is like not a super brightening concealer, just because I got it in kind of a dark shade. But it's perfect for like blemishes. So like if any are still kind of poking out after the foundation, instead of just applying more foundation, I like to apply concealer in the areas that need a little extra attention. And then I always blend this out with my foundation brush because since like a beauty sponge kind of takes away some of the extra product. You don't want any of the product to be taken away, obviously, because you're trying to conceal. So I recommend using a brush for your spot concealing. But then it's kind of hard because I'm like, sometimes I'll like forget to blend a spot. Next, for my under eye concealer, I'm going to use my Rimmel Match Perfection um, concealer and this is in the shade 245 light I really really like this stuff I also have the naked skin concealer which is like one of my faves but this is like super comparable and like five dollars and I'm a big fan so I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes focusing it on like this corner in here because that's where they get the darkest and then liberally applying it to my eyelids to cover up those really cute veins 
that is set. Now I'm going to take my CoverGirl translucent powder that I've had probably a good three years at this point. I got this ages ago and just have never invested in like the Laura Mercier or like a good translucent powder. Stuff, the stuff does the job and it's probably, I want to say it's like $7. It's not too expensive. Okay, so first we're going to tap that under our eyes and just do a little baking. And then I get lazy and I just kind of like put it on my eyelids too. When I was doing my makeup on Friday, I literally took my powder brush and I dipped it in here and forgot to like dust it off because so much gets on. And it was literally like, looks like flour exploded all over me. It was not a good look, but that is okay. Oh, God, that's the one thing I hate about like loose translucent powder. I cannot travel with it because I swear every time I do, it ends up just everywhere. And I'm like, nope, not gonna work. Versus like, I don't know how people start out with such glowy makeup and then like, do you just not sweat? Does your skin not get oily? I don't know but good for you if that is the case. Okay, next, since um, we want this to be a very bronzy look, I'm gonna go ahead with three bronzers. Why? I couldn't tell you, but the first one is the Maybelline Fit Me bronzer. This is in the medium shade. It's very subtle on me because it's kind of light, um, which is good because we're going in with many, so I'm just gonna kind of load it. This one's a little shimmery, but I'm just gonna load up my brush with this. This is a MAC 116 brush and just kind of go in. Just start to carve out my cheeks, but nothing too crazy. Okay, next we're gonna go in with some Hoola bronzer because like you just have to. And this is, whew, my window's open and it's like breezy. This is my friend's brush that I accidentally stole, but it's life altering for bronzers. So it's the Kest Kestrel, I don't know, but it's fluffy and wonderful. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the Hula bronzer. And this is where it really starts getting warmed up. I just grab a very light amount and just kind of dust it everywhere. And then it's like, yes, you are laying in the sun for hours. It is actually July and not almost November. Yes, you're so tan, except just really not. Okay, then really lightly, we're getting like borderline orange, but really lightly, I'm going to go in with the bronzed goddess Estee Lauder stuff. Now, this stuff is dark. This is in the... 04 deep shade i don't really know where or when i got this but just super lightly i'm just gonna go in and just add a little more then i'm gonna go in with this sephora not sephora sephora palette and it has a bronze and two like pretty pretty um vibrant blush shades but i'm gonna go in with i think this brush that we use the first bronzer with now I'm going to go in with this super corally shade, which is like intimidating at first, but with blushes, what I like to do is just get a little amount and put it almost where I'm going to highlight to make it look more like I was in the sun instead of like, I am blushing. Like if you like the apples on the cheeks, I am blushing look all good, but I prefer the I am sun-kissed kind of look and it's just I don't know my cheeks are already kind of pink so I like to do just a very very little amount we're gonna save the highlighter for last because you just got to I don't know okay all right next I'm gonna go in with the modern renaissance palette this is a super good just like bronzy warm toned palette we're actually gonna dip into a little bit of the pink shades but first things first I'm gonna go in Make sure we have no more powder on our eyes. I'm gonna go in with Burnt Orange, this color right down here. And I'm just gonna start building that in my crease. Okay. Once that is down, I'm gonna take a little bit of raw sienna just to kind of build up it's a very similar shade but just to kind of build up the bronzy 
orangey vibe we have going. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the same um, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer. And this stuff is like super warm tone, so it works. It's going to work well for our kind of bronzy vibe. I'm going to keep this a little bit closer to my eye, and I'm not going to go as high up as I did with the um, kind of more orangey shades. This is just going to kind of define our crease. All right, I'm liking that. Okay, next we are going to switch up the brushes. I'm going to go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills kind of like smaller blending brush. We're going to go back into Modern Renaissance and we're going to dip into Love Letter, which at first I was super afraid to use, but in small increments, it's really just a beautiful shade. And I think it looks really good with brown eyes, kind of makes them pop. So I'm just going to dab this ever so slightly just on the outer kind of third of my eye. Just dab it in. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to blend it out in a bit. Just like that. This palette does have a little bit of kickback, but that is okay. Just be careful with fallout. Now, we're going to take that same blending brush that we used for the first three shades and just kind of blend it out a little bit. Okay, next, um, I'm going to put down a little of this L'Oreal True Match Lumi um, Liquid Glow and Illuminator, and it's a primer and a highlighter. It's in the uh, shade Golden, Golden Dore, W101, and I'm going to apply a little bit of this just to, like, the inner part where we basically don't have the pink, the inner part of my eye. I'm actually just going to put a little on the back of my hand. This is super pretty. I should have put this on before my foundation. To use this kind of like a strobing cream. I'm just gonna take my finger and just apply a little bit. Ooh, look at that. A little bit on the inner part of my eye. So once that is down, ooh, we are gonna go in with the stunning Primavera shade and it's just like a gold, just satiny, beautiful shimmer shade. And just take kind of any flat shader brush. We're gonna go in with this one. And since there's already a liquidy base, I'm gonna try and not, I'm just gonna try and go in like dry without even spraying the brush and just see what happens. No, I think we gotta spray the brush still. The All these shades totally work with no like fix plus or anything, but I think it just gives it so much life. There we go. All right, now we're gonna go back in with just the slightest amount of love letter just to kind of blend the gold in and make sure there's no harsh edges. Oops. And then I'm going to go back in with the original blending brush just to do one final sweep. Okay, now on my bottom lash line, I'm going to take the burnt orange shade and on just the flat shader brush of the, the other end of the brush, and I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line. And I'm not going to go all the way in. I'm probably going to do the first third of my eye. I'm not going to go all the way in to the inner corner. All right, and then I'm going to take the smidgest bit of Love Letter. And it just kind of ties the whole look together. All right. Now, on to the best part. I'm going to take the highlighter. So I'm going to go in, if I can open it, with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is the perfect kit for this look. And, whoa, I'm going to go in with Golden Bronze because the name says it all. That's totally what we are going for with this look. Kind of just a goldeny 
bronze look. So I'm going to take this um, Forever 21, I believe, brush and just go in with this shade. I think it's just a stunning <gasps> highlighting shade and I think it goes perfectly with this look. Okay, here, you're getting annoying. And then just take a little on the nose. Take a little on the nose and I'm gonna take a little bit of bubbly, just a little bit lighter. And then a little, of course, on the Cupid's bow. All right, oh, and then to highlight my brow bone, I'm just gonna take a little of Sunburst, the lightest shade on my finger and just place it right under my brow. I love this palette. It's honestly such a good value too because it's like 40 bucks for like four pretty big pans of highlight. All right, so next I'm gonna spray my face with the Urban Decay Chill um, Makeup Setting Spray. I really like this because it kind of cools your face down after doing your makeup. Don't worry, I did not forget mascara. I just like to spray my face first because, I don't know, I feel like I always put on mascara and then I spray my face and then my mascara ends up going like kind of everywhere because it gets all like wet and goopy so next I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and then put on the Neutrogena Healthy Volume Mascara I love this stuff all right Okay, so I think this is the final look. I really like how it turned out. It's just very bronzy and golden, and I kind of like the little pop of pink in there. I think that's kind of a cool touch. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at all, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. But um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!